Some of the things you in other nations have been doing for you people. For us, nothing, nothing at all. Nothing at all. But United Nations uh, bring up an offer that people should return home, repatriation, voluntary repatriation. And some of you people are still here. Why you did not take that option to go home? Because for me, I don't know. Going back home, my life is nothing. And here again, my life was not saved because it was not saved. I don't need it. 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 So you can't go by home. Yeah. So what do you want for United Nations to do for you at the um, present movement? Oh, uh, you durable. You need a durable solution, a resettlement to a third country of asylum. Okay. okay, thank you, brother Abraham uh, Kamara. Speaking with Abraham Kamara, a brother on his team trying to face the Atai. As you can see, people sitting here trying to play Ludo for the day to go. Nowhere to go. If you stop, if you step out there. You face whole lot of problem with the security. So people prefer to stay in this compound to play their ludo. If they have a little penny to call their one spoon or right to eat. As you can see, older people sitting here with gray hair, playing ludo whole day, nothing to do, nothing at all to do. Hello, Omer. Hello. Your name, please? My name is Tallison, Wellity Tallison. Oh, Wellity Tallison. Mm -hmm. As I see you, you are looking at those that are playing their Ludo. Yes. And how do you feel about this Ludo game? What I feel good about it because it's the only way you will okay, stop so. thinking high yeah. of the life we live. Since almost seven months, and the insecurity, you see that nothing can console <laughs> us but rather to play Ludo. So you've been here for the past seven months? Seven months, since December 17. And what are some of the good things United Nations have been doing for you people since you people have been well, here for the I past seven months? I think since months. they allow us in a, in a compound, basically in the rain, in the open, no Medicare, no feeding, we have been here. Those are the good things we have been doing. Okay, uh, United Nations brought uh, a proposal of voluntary repatriation for Liberia to return home. And I saw some Liberian went by home. But why you did not take that option to go home to Liberia? Well, I think I fled Liberia because of uh, insecurity or threat of, of my life. I could not go by. And so this is the reason why I'm still here. I cannot go back to take that opportunity that I'm going by. Until I see that life in Liberia for me is secure and it's okay for me, then I, I will be able to be going back. But the Avoran population, you will not be able to live among the Avoran people. So what do you want for United Nations to do for you at this present movement? Thank you, this is true. I cannot live among the Avoran people any longer. And so I'm asking United Nations to plan a program for resettlement to a third country. A durable solution, a resettlement program to a third country of yeah, asylum. So that what you want for United Nations to yes, do for you. This is what I want United Nations to do. Okay, thank you, sir. We call him Patterson. He's one of the error in the compound here, in UN compound. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>
Can I talk to you yeah. a bit? Uh, uh, brother, hello. Yeah, how are you? Your name, please. My name is Oliver Freeman. Uh, Oliver Freeman. As I can see, uh, people in this compound wearing black today. What did uh, wearing black mean? Okay, as you know, black has to do with uh, mystery, death, evil, everything that has to do with uh, negative. That, that's the symbol of black. And how long have you been in this compound? Okay, I have been in this compound for the past uh, three months now. For the past three months. Three months you've been in this yeah, compound. Yeah. But some people are saying seven months and you are saying three months. Yes, sir. It's true. Three months in a compound and then outside they're full. Okay, that so, makes us seven so months. It's correct. It's uh, what you United Nations have been doing for you people since you people came into this compound? Okay, it's rather unfortunate, my brother. United Nations has done nothing. Our being in this company is by the grace of God. United Nations comes here to work. You can see they are building here. They come to work every day and they see Liberian refugees here. They don't do anything. They just observe and go. I don't know what they are thinking about. Uh, but United Nations United Nation brought an auction of repatriation, voluntary repatriation to Liberia. Why you did not take that auction to go back to Liberia? Okay, as you correctly put it, repatriation is an auction and it has to do with your, your human hood. Repat you cannot repatriate yourself to a country where you cannot find security. If you must be repatriated, it must be based on your social cohesion. But if your repatriation will be an impediment to your own human survival, then you will not go. So repatriation is not good for me and some of the librarians that you, are, you can see here. It is not good for all. That is why we are staying here in the UNACR. So what do you want for UN to do for you now at the present stage? Actually, I want durable solution. And the only durable solution is a resettlement. Because I came into ESA in this country in 1990, September 30th. And this year, September 30th, will make me 11 years. 
in uh, now 11 but 21 years on SI here in Africa and UNHCR had not been able to give me durable solution. Everything that they play was for paperwork. And each time when durable solution comes, they will give it to other people that are not refugees, living with the refugees out. They are using us, our presence here, as just like a chicken barn. That they continue to keep us here on the ground and use our presence for personal aggrandizement. So I feel that resettlement will be better. For example, refugees were resettled to the United States and the Scandinavia in 2003 and 2004 and 5. But you can see the little year that they have stayed abroad, their life has changed completely. These are the people now that are feeling their brothers in Liberia, their families in Liberia. So if I'm resettled to another country, I will go there and then finish my education, get my PhD, and come back and contribute to the reconstruction of my country, Liberia. So you need a durable solution like resettlement to a third country of Yeah, Asylum. resettlement to a third country of Asylum. Okay, because, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Ottawa Freeman, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Let's begin. Anyway, see what we get here. You know me? Same brother. Same nephew. Ah! Really? I don't know if you need to. Let me tell you something. This place. Let us go on. No matter what happens. This is where some of the refugees sleep at night in a very deplorable condition. As you can see, this is black plastic all over the place. And when it rains at night, sometimes they even sleep in the rain. This is under one of the tents in the UNHCR High Commission for Refugees hometown. As you can see, we are about to tour the whole compound. As you can see, parts for gallon all over the compound. Some of the refugees sleep even on the hard ground here. As you can see, this is the little girl over here. She is uh, preparing the evening meal. No even fish in the soup. They are living in a very deplorable condition.